everyone, it's Kevin, and today I'm excited to show you how you can stake your mover on Moon River. To get started, head to apps.moonbeam.network slash moonriver. And you can always click one of the network buttons up here in the upper right hand corner in order to switch between the different Moonbeam networks. Next, we're going to choose the wallet that we'd like to use. In this case, I'll choose MetaMask. I'll go ahead and unlock it. And make sure that the account that you'd like to stake with is the one that's selected. To get started with staking, go ahead and scroll down and press Manage Delegations. You're free to stake anything that's in your free balance. Go ahead and press Select a Collator. And the first tab that loads here is the Active Pool. These are the collators who are actively earning staking rewards. The Waiting Pool contains collators that are not actively earning staking rewards. However, that could change in the future. If you want to earn staking rewards right away, you'll want to choose a collator that's in the Active Pool. There is a protocol-wide minimum delegation amount of 5 Moon River, but it is possible for a collator's minimum delegation amount to be higher. How should you choose a collator? You should do your own research and you should choose one that you trust to be a good steward of the network. If you don't know any collators, you can check out our collators channel in Discord, where collators can introduce themselves. Alternatively, you can pick any collator from the active pool for which you meet the minimum bond amount. If your chosen collator stops producing blocks, you won't earn rewards for the period they're offline. You can always unbond from your collator and switch to a different one, but that does take time and you won't earn rewards during the unbonding period. Next, let's talk about the optimization of staking rewards. Generally speaking, to optimize your rewards, you'll want to choose a collator with a lower total bond amount. It sounds counterintuitive at first, but by choosing a collator with a lower total bond, your delegation amount represents a larger percentage of that collator's total amount staked and thus you'll earn a slightly higher reward. Although delegating to a collator takes effect immediately, you won't earn rewards until two rounds have passed. In Moon River, it takes 24 rounds to reduce or revoke a delegation. For demonstration purposes, we'll choose a collator at random. So go ahead and click on the collator that you'd like to delegate your tokens to, then specify the delegation amount. Remember to keep in mind the minimum delegation amount of five Moon River. So we'll choose five for this example. Below that, you'll see a slider, and here you can choose the amount of rewards that you'd like to have auto-compounded. If you choose 0%, that means that all of your rewards will go into your free balance and none of your rewards will be auto-compounded. If you choose 100%, this means that all of your rewards will be automatically compounded and none of your rewards will be directed to your free balance. For this example, we'll choose 100% auto-compounding. And once you're ready, go ahead and press delegate and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. You're free to delegate to multiple collators as long as you meet the minimum delegation amount for each collator. You can also increase or decrease your delegation amount by using the plus or minus buttons here. So as an example, let's go ahead and increase our delegation. I'll press send and I'll confirm the transaction in MetaMask. If you hover over this button here, you'll see that we're auto compounding 100% of the rewards that we receive. And if you go ahead and click on it, you can change this amount at any time. Let's say I'd like to change it down to 50%. Go ahead and press set auto compound and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. And if you hover over it again, you'll see that we're auto compounding 50% of the rewards. Now let's demonstrate decreasing a delegation. Reducing or revoking a delegation is a two-step process involving initiation and execution. You can initiate a request to reduce a delegation by clicking on the minus sign and then select the amount that you'd like to unbond. Be careful not to drop below the protocol minimum bond. So in this case, the maximum that we can unbond is 0.05 mover. Go ahead and press send and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. Once you have a request in progress, you can't make changes to it, but you can cancel it and start over if you'd like. After the waiting period has passed, you can return to apps.moonbeam.network to execute, meaning finalize the request at which point your unbonded tokens will be returned to your free balance. You can hover over the check mark to see the exact round at which the request will be eligible to be executed. You can also view the current round here at the top and you can hover over that for a reminder of the approximate round length. To revoke your delegation entirely, don't use the minus button, instead use the revoke delegation button. Just like reducing a delegation, revoking a delegation is a two-step process. So you'll need to return to go ahead and execute that revoke request. There's more information about staking on our doc site, including all of the parameters like round length and exit delay period for each network. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.